God bless you. Power in that call. Sister Jenkins says, y'all, hey, don't don't get it twisted. You know what we up here doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. She said, you know, don't mess exactly. around with the word. Exactly, exactly. We got a guest actually that hey. is uh, knows a little something about that because uh, he's uh, actually been was dealing with some things. Yes, 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 yes. But how you doing? I'm doing good. What's up, KZI? What's up, Austin, and all the surrounding cities on PT? Hey. I'm here to, uh, li- this time last week I was uh, in the hospital, so listen, I got a testimony, but I'm Talk here to, I got a testimony, but I'm yeah. going to give you some gossip too at the okay. same time. Yeah. <laughs> PT, lay it PT. on us, man. PT, yes. do it. Well, we got to bring that mic up a little bit. so They we got to pray, y'all. This is so sad. You know, the radio stations say they don't want to play Beyonce's music. Y'all right. know Beyonce has got her um, country album. Right. And this is so sad. You know, Beyonce should be able to do what she wants to do. She can, If she wants to do R&B, she wants to do gospel, whatever. Why not? What do y'all think about that? Okay. I'm a, let me jump in real quick. Okay. Beyonce is smart first yes. of all she is mm-hmm. a smart artist and she never does anything mm-hmm. just waking up saying i'm gonna do this yep. everything beyonce does is intentional yep. it is right. not just it's not off the cuff it's not like while she's sitting around you know eating <laughs> shrimp and steak <laughs> talking about, you know what i think i should make a country album yeah she's doing it for a reason there's a reason for it it is it's 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 more than likely, just my opinion, and I'm gonna give it. Let the fellas jump in. Mm-hmm. More than likely, in my opinion, you know, the thing about country music is that there are roots of country music with melanated folk. Oh, yep. We've right. been doing right. country music for a long time, yes, sir. and most yes. people, when you say country music, you automatically think of folks like Alan Jackson and George Strait, mm-hmm. and uh, and uh, uh, you know, the, oh, geez, thank Garth you. Brooks. Thank you. Yeah, Garth yep. Brooks for sure. And I love Garth Brooks. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not going front. I'm, I got friends in low places. Hey man, I, you know, <laughs> with the whiskey drowns and the beer chases. My blind. Hey, wait. <laughs> but I think I think this is we're gonna see step by step why she's doing what she's doing, and it's gonna be revealed, and it's gonna knock everybody out. Am I supposed right. to say we coming? Is that is, is, is this too early <laughs> for me to say that? We yes. we coming for it. I think y'all need to understand we coming for all right. of that right. that used to be ours and that is ours. Yeah, and right. I think she's naturally doing what's supposed to happen. You're supposed to um, evolve. Yeah. And this is part of her evolution, in my opinion. Yeah. This right. is a part of our evolution. Mm-hmm. Did y'all not realize when Lil Nas X, I'm going to call some real stuff, when Lil Nas X did that song and they didn't want to give it to him, mm-hmm. and the only reason why they allowed him to go where he needed to go in the right. CMT and all of that was because Billy Ray Cyrus Billy Ray jumped Cyrus. in, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. all of a sudden they said, okay, it's acceptable. Yeah. Uh, we can be acceptable without having their blessing That's because true. we're making their music. That That's music true. came from us in the first place. Sure. And so what we're doing, I'm going to call it again, we're reclaiming. Claiming stuff that was already ours, that that was once lost, is now coming back, and uh, we coming. So Beyonce <laughs> coming for it. <laughs> I'm gonna hit y'all with the big word for Here me, it and it is called diversification. Ooh. So what she's doing is she's in the practice of spreading her investments around mm. so that her exposure to any one type of asset is limited. Mm-hmm. Her, her husband said, "I'm a business man." Mm-hmm. They are billionaires in their own right. Mm-hmm. And so what she's realizing is there is a vacuum. There is a there is a lack. If you think who's a, who's the country queen right now? Taylor Swift. No. <laughs> no? She's pop. Um, she started in that. This, she started oh, in that, okay. but she Carrie, left. She Carrie is Underwood. All pop. I would say Carrie Underwood. Right Carrie now, Underwood? Okay. I think Beyonce so. sees where she can go. Yeah. She can dominate. She now can tour and do and do stage hold stages with y'all y'all remember um Darius Rucker, yes, yeah, he yeah. does country. Yeah, so yeah. now she can get all those people. Yeah, it's, it's diversification, so she can just spread this thing around. And oh, by the way, uh, you know I'm an East Coast dude. Uh-huh. I w- I'm gonna remind everybody else from where I'm from. Yo, she's Texas. Mm, right. Houston. 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 So yep. at, at, you can claim whatever Louisiana. you want to claim. I ain't yeah. even from Texas, and I call myself the bow tie cowboy with a K because I be rocking my cowboy boots every time I can. So. If I can rock a pair of cowboy boots, she from Texas? Man, she can do whatever she wants. Smart. That's smart. Exactly, exactly. Whatever she wants. Exactly. PT, what else you got for us, uh, man? Uh, well, let me go back to a little bit about the Beyonce okay, thing. Okay, go for uh, it. Do you guys have her on the playlist here already since y'all, we're we going to be supporting her? I don't know if we have the, I don't know if we have the new one yet because yeah. that just uh, yeah. that just came out. We kind of, we yeah, we, we might she, have to she, do I don't I know if she, we have the not. Okay, I'll just check it to see if y'all was. It's coming. Good, if we yeah. own it. Okay. <laughs> we coming. Uh, we coming. I tell you, this, this Shay Shay stuff has been, this Shay Shay room. Stuff has been going crazy. So fun. When I was laying Look in out. my hospital bed, I was still getting the tea, okay? Talk about he it. He is the so content listen, creator. Listen, I tell you, 
Now, this stuff that's going on with Mo- Monique and her son, I don't know if y'all heard about it or not. Uh-uh. This is crazy. But yeah. first of all, I'm old school. I ain't, I'm, finna, I'm not going to go in on my mama, okay? Yes. Yeah. Not no. on social media. No. If I got an issue with my mother yep. or my father, I'm going to them. I'm not, right. And the first of all, I didn't know he was a comedian. Wait, what? Wow, really? Yes. Really? Uh, yes. Uh, her, I haven't her son, the interview yet. Shalon, I believe his name is Shalon. Okay. Uh, he's a comedian. Never heard of him. I'm okay. not saying that he's not a comedian, but I never heard of him. So now, you know, they're having some issues. Yep. Uh I just it's strange to me that he's calling uh Monique's uh husband uncle and he said that she didn't get it right when he was young. Listen, all parents don't get it right. No, no, right. we do but not. But does it doesn't mean that you gotta disrespect your mama like that. Come no. on now. Yeah. You know the, what I'm saying? You know, what, do y'all, what do y'all think about this? This is what I always say. Y'all Michael Jordan's sons are not NBA superstars. Right. You want to know why? Because Michael Jordan wasn't there to help them like his dad was. You know, when Michael Jordan didn't make that team mm-hmm. and he was in the backyard mm-hmm. shooting in the gym, when he was doing that, right. his dad was right there, which is why he had such a good connection with his dad. He ain't got that connection with his boys because he was running around the world doing Space Jam and being the greatest of all time. Right. And so there's some give-give there. Right. And th- there's nothing you could do about it. So for that young man, w- w- here's what I could tell you. Without even knowing him, I can guarantee you he never went to bed hungry. Mm, I can true. guarantee you his oh, first yeah. car probably that. is better than the car Simply Courtney you got right that. now. Right now. <laughs> right and, now. And then I'm going to also tell you that brother probably has had more pairs of Jordans than I've ever had. Hello. Because his mom was Monique and she's been putting it down for all these years. Mm-hmm. And now you, yes, you can take and you can hate on your mama, but you... You have to understand she was working and that is what she had to do to to ascend to the heights that she made it to. Yes. It'd be very nice if your mama was working at Hardee's right down the street, but that's not what your mama was doing, man. So I I don't appreciate, to your point, I don't appreciate him coming at her like that. Well, see, I'm a wee old school. I don't know about y'all, but I'm old school. There's no way I would disrespect my mama. Not at all. Simply Courtney, what you think? You keep that in the house. I think the biggest thing, and you were saying it kind of PT to your credit, if we're going to have something, we're going to talk directly to each other. Me and my mom, I hope you understand, I got married at 20 years old. Wow. Do you think my mom was happy when I got married? No. Do you know how many four-letter <laughs> words and five-letter words I got thrown at me? Probably got some eight-letter words. Probably right, some eight-letter words. A whole a hashtag. My mom put a my mom put a hashtag together. That's how good she is. Uh, son. And, and and so we didn't agree, but we didn't take it publicly. And whenever we had issues, man. That stuff was stuff that happened between us and the social media. That's the tough part about it this day and age. When people have beefs, I'm trying to remember the other one. Uh, I know Kurt Franklin's son had one. All these people went yeah. online and they did it online in a public manner. So now it brought the public in. Yep. Mm-hmm. This was a house discussion. You didn't brought the whole mm-hmm. neighborhood into mm-hmm. the house. Yep. What they say? Close the door. You ain't trying to give the, the neighborhood air. And well, now you, you know, got the door open. Go ahead. You know, here's another thing, too. Now, a lot of people don't realize this, that these celebrities, kids, they're actually making money. They are. Yeah, they are. This contest. So that's why yeah. a lot of these... TMZ are interviewing them yeah, right now. They're making money. Oh, yeah. Remember when T.I. and his right, son though. had the drama? Yeah, that yeah. same his, thing. Yeah, everybody yeah. wanted to talk to the exactly. son, and exactly. the son said, well, if, if you ain't talking 10000 then we, we got nothing to talk about. Mm. I can't do mm. the interview for mm. less than 10000 yeah. yeah. I got to ask this question about about the son real quick. So he's a comic, right? Well, what he say is. You better stop. <laughs> PT came in. PT what? said I was down last week. This guy came in. He came in. I was down last week. Never, you never heard of him? You, don't know, you need to stop. I've never heard of him. I'm, just, I'm no, being real. Exactly. Every time you do that, I'm going to be like, wow. That's all I'm doing for now on now. Because you, you clawing on this. Swing PT in. said I was down last week. I'm not down this week. This is a week. But now, nah, so, comic... And this stuff that's been said was on social media or was it on stage? That's my question for you. No, he was on social media. Oh, so he wasn't mm-hmm. on stage no. roasting his mom. And no, I haven't that. seen it on stage. It was on social media. Oh, wow. Well, this is this is another reason why they do it. They do it for the gram. Now, we, sure. we, are, we are personalities all in here. We are content creators. And I know we have to do it, so I'm not going to spit it something that we use. But let's be honest. Right. I didn't know his name was Shalon. I know I it did now. Not even know and now name. I will be looking at that's his, his, his content. That, that, that's why and, you got to get the tea from a, PT. This is Come another on, reason PT. why he's doing PT it. PT doing his job. So he's going to get his shine. He wants his T.I. son yeah. moment, his king mm-hmm. moment. Mm-hmm. That's T.I. son's mm-hmm. name. Mm-hmm. He wants that moment, too. Right. You're right. Good job, PT. Look at you. Look at you. He want to shine, but, man, you got to be very very careful with that when you I don't yeah. care whose family you from yeah when you bring the rest of the world into mm. your stuff when you when you do that you open that you open a can of worms yep. and not only that you're gonna bring in people that number one ain't got nothing to do with it obviously nope. but really could be on some really dramatic mess and come in there and do something 
just just unheard of. Just say this and say that or show up at an event and start fights and all of that mm, stuff. Mm. Somebody that ain't got nothing to do with what's going on in your life. The, you do not want to invite that kind of mess into the your The best home. quote I ever heard of this is that somebody left the refrigerator door open. You can't be surprised somebody takes a sandwich. There and I go. remember Kanye said that. And I was like, wait, what? And it was deep because it's talking about your home. You don't leave your refrigerator door open, and mm. now somebody done took a sandwich, and mm-hmm. you mad about it. Mm-hmm. Yep. You left the door you left open. The door mm. open. You the one left the door open, so why are you surprised that somebody took something up out of it? You exactly. know, and, and I want to say this. With mm-hmm. all this celebrity stuff going on, a lot of people say, oh, I want to be a celebrity. I want to do this. Mm. I want to do that. They have problems just like we do. Yep. Mm-hmm. They have problems. They, I'm telling you, they. some of them probably got more problems than we do. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. You know, more money, lot, more problems. Yeah, a lot of, sure. a lot of money, you know, and, you know, it's just it's crazy. Exactly. So, We're yeah. going to go to break in just a second. But yeah, you're right about that because tea. I think yeah we gonna now we gonna have more tea. Oh, it's gonna be more oh tea. I got more tea. More I'm tea, here. More tea. <laughs> Can I tell right. you what I might talk about? Because okay. there's so much. Let's talk about these socks Jermaine Dupree had. Oh, 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 I can't wait That's to come back from this break. Life I can't wait to come back from this break. It's a hard. I cannot life. wait to come back from this break. He look like that <laughs> man. Let me tell you, look like instead of instead of calf high, he did ankles. He look like something Mattel came up. He looked no like no way. Annie. That's no, exactly. No, that did oh not make God. no sense. But yeah, we're going to take right. a little break, y'all. <laughs> You're listening to The Morning Grind on 88.7 FM KAZI. We are going to be back. Yeah. Hey, yo. Right here on 88.7. 88.7 FM KAZI 922. Don't forget to check us out. KAZIFM.org. And oh, by the way, we have the TuneIn app logged on to our homepage so you can just check that out and you can also get the tune in app for your phone all mobile devices and your smart tv caller you there good morning daniel good morning morning daniel how you doing man blessed and highly favored in yourself sir i'm doing wonderful man blessed absolutely blessed good good good. listen i just wanted to call in and then tell you i've called in several times we've had some warm conversations not seeing eye to eye, but uh, I'm glad to say I'm in straight line with you guys in the tack that you're taking this morning. I agree with you 100%, and it's it's good to hear y'all reinforcing the family. I'm enjoying the conversation. Yes, sir. We appreciate that, man. Family over everything, for real, for real. You know, and I I say that, you know, as somebody, as I said earlier to the uh, caller just came in, I'm dealing with something with a very, very close family member of mine. And I'm just like, I can't believe it. My friends can't believe it. It's crazy. Um, The only thing we can do, man, is turn it over to turn it over to our Lord, man, because that's what, you know, take it out of our hands and let God do the rest. Because that's it's just there's no other way to handle it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree with you 100%. And so there's a mantra that I use in situations like that when I'm in tough situations like you are. It's kind of simple-minded, but it's what I live by. He who laughs last, laughs the loudest. Mm. Yeah. Cool, cool. Well, hopefully I'll be laughing, laughing real loud pretty soon. But you know what? I'm, I'm not, you know, my, my heart is not full of hate, man. It's full of confusion, but yeah. it's not full of hate. It's kind of hard to hate somebody that you, you know, that you grew up with. So, but for the most part, yeah. man, uh, I appreciate you calling in and uh, and sharing right. that, my man. And have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Appreciate you listening. All right? Thank you. I'll keep you in prayer with your situation. I hope everything works out. Of course, it'll be God's will. and just hope you have understanding of that. Amen to that. Amen to that. Have a great day, brother. Thank you. You, you too. Bye-bye. 88.7 FM, KAZI. My man Dab Dub is in the building. Don't forget to check him out. Doing it. Yes, doing it, doing it, doing it well. Don't forget to check him out tomorrow, I mean uh, Friday, for uh, Fans View. That's our sports talk show. Mm-hmm. We got Simply Courtney in the building. Don't hey, forget. Hey. Damn. They funny. Yes, sir. Later on tonight. <laughs> I'm glad you jumped in on that. No, you, I got you. Yes, sir. QR code. We got you, my y'all man. Got, is that my name? Y'all hey, got to take y'all show on the road. QR to you the code. So? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Throw, you throw it up. I, I dunk it. Yes, sir. We got it. <laughs> I was we getting put about a square, man. I got you. Yes, sir. That works. And PT with the T. Good what morning. Up, everybody? What's good, going on? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You got a little something else for us, yeah. man? Yeah. Oh, Talk you to know, us, You know, this is so sad. Okay. You know, just because it's Louis Vuitton, you don't have to wear it. Okay. Yeah, uh oh. Now, uh, Jermaine Dupree. I know. <laughs> you know. Listen. It's so much that went down at the Super Bowl. Uh, let me tell y'all something. The halftime. 
besides Alicia Keys being off Keys Bless You better Our stop. Oh, that's I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. Shot, shot. That's okay. If, your name, if, if it's fine. in your name, you get the blame. She I'm, says she got the keys, but, 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 but then she didn't. She got the keys, but she was off the keys. Okay. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm a church musician, so I know music. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Oh. But anyway, let me move on before I get in trouble. But anyway, <laughs> them socks that he had on yeah. was way wrong. You know, somebody thought he was CeeLo Green, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. too short to be yeah. CeeLo Green. Oh, well. Aren't they nah, short? they about to say height. Are they they about to really? say height. Are they really? Yeah. yeah, don't let the, so, the rotundness confuse the, you. The question, <laughs> the question of the other day, would you guys wear those socks? Mm. If I, I want Simply you. Courtney to ask because he, he a big dude. You want me to wait, 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 Hold on. Yeah. I, ha- I have my, my Maybach parked, parked outside. Okay. Oh. So, oh. Uh, <laughs> next to mine. <laughs> next to mine. Oh. Loyalty. Yeah, there you no, go. Loyalty out here. And, and, and if I was to go outside and get these socks, would you gentlemen wear these socks? I'm tell you what. I ain't gonna wear them. I'm just. Oh, not. can I wear nope. pants? Okay. Do I have to wear the whole outfit that he has? You gotta wear the whole outfit. Yeah. yeah. You look like people gotta thing. see it. The socks wasn't the seen only it? problem. Have you seen the, outfit? Oh. The, 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 the socks wasn't the only problem. Yeah. It was the whole outfit. Yeah. The whole outfit. The, the way, like, because I'm, I'm, I'm a devil's advocate this one for a second. I think that there's a way you could have dressed that up and made it look kind of fly. That wasn't it. That what he had on the jacket thing, and then he had the shorts on, which I still don't understand. I remember LeBron James a few years ago tried to pull yes. the jacket with yeah. the shorts on. No, I can't mm-mm, do that. Mm-mm. And he had the penny loafers on and mm-mm, stuff like that. Mm-mm. And I was like, if I don't have to wear the penny loafers, I put money. If you give me as much money as he got in stylus, I don't even really need the stylus. I think I got it, but I think I could pull that off. But I wouldn't be dressed like that. Now, if I had to dress like that. I'm going to look just as foolish as he did, if yeah. not worse. But you know, these people got so much money, they just wear stuff they don't even care no more. Yeah, because he didn't care. Right. I don't think he wear Them they socks probably right. even in his possession. Well, this. I'm, wow. I'm going to tell you guys Burn this. <laughs> it's a business man. Oh, what true. if this was a an opportunity for him to help out Pharrell mm-hmm. and Pharrell said, man, you got to do this because I'm going to tell you this. I guarantee you the traffic to that site. Oh, man. The, oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The searches for yeah. those Louis V's People wearing, are right? up. But uh, no, nah, yeah. he looked like little orphan Annie in them socks. Oh, well, yes, he did. Yeah, he and did. Uh, the only thing he needed was the, the black shoes with the strap. And I would have thought from the knee down, that was yeah. little orphan Annie oh, with, sure. a tan, right. with a tan. Sure. Yeah. Exactly. I think it was I, a business move. You, you yeah, might of course right it was. Yeah. I, I, I but it still looked a mess, okay? It did. It was a yeah. messy business move. <laughs> somebody, somebody bank account is going to ting 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 okay. ting right about now. Oh wow! Mm. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can grab a call real quick, guys, because okay. uh, I know folks are calling in for sure. Good morning, caller. How you doing? Good morning, gentlemen. It's Polly Pocket. Oh, what's oh, up, Polly? Oh, hey, how you doing? Th- th- this is the, this is the best in the West right here. Oh, I'm here. I'm here for it. How you doing? Jeopardy, you got any questions? I don't hear any questions, so I'm going to ask you a question instead. Uh-oh. 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 I was told there, there'd be no questions. <laughs> shoot it, shoot it, Polly, it. shoot it. Well, they lied to you. All right, so <laughs> what What do you all think of people who feel the need to talk about Valentine's Day as Single Awareness Day? Bad. Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of weird. That's yeah. a weird direction yeah. to take it. They trying to start something new. Yeah, okay. they are. Well, I, I'm, I'm going to take this along the lines of they need that. Because I remember, the, you know, we, we have what Thanksgiving Day, what it's known as Thanksgiving Day. Mm-hmm. And then there's the Friend Appreciation Day that people do. Oh. So they're not alone since they don't have the family for that. Right. So I'm going to go because we're all about mental health these days and appreciation and understanding some people need that because this is a very hard day yeah. so Polly Pockets I'm going to take that path and say they need it okay. so my first answer was they need it mm. and if they need it I'm about it because I, I have some friends that can't find love Respect. and and you mm. know I was out there we were just talking about this off air right. I wasn't looking for love when I found it but I was I was in a good place because I was able to work out a lot yeah. play a lot of ball yeah. ride my motorcycle I was yeah. living in Los Angeles doing oh. a lot of salsa dancing the hair so was I was good I hair. had hair at that time <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and it was great I had a six pack at that time too, man. Let, me show you, I'm, let me show you the picture of me I was riding around SoCal with on no a shirt. Harley with a leather jacket oh, you wild. but I had the six pack booming you had what, no shirt on but I least what had on the leather jacket so i think it. they need it because everyone wasn't in a good place when they were single like i was so that's mm. what i think polly yeah that's a good question okay okay i appreciate, I appreciate it i just i was just curious but um for those of you with love have a happy valentine's day for those of you by yourself it's okay it'll find you it sure is you're not, you're, you're not looking for it <laughs> <laughs> no i'm not your boy good right here <laughs> all right thanks polly bye, appreciate guys. it bye 
No, nah, she's right though. I mean, not everybody is the. the that's the thing about uh, ho- you know holidays like this is that it's not. First of all, it's not for everybody. Nope. No. Second of all, it may be tough for people who yeah. have lost someone. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, either you know, either they passed away or. You're just not you're you know you've had a divorce or and I don't even want to man I've heard divorces are just the ugliest thing and they just Jack Nicholson first thing in the morning ugly they mm-hmm. just you know they're really hard so this is a, probably a really tough day it's one of them days you just want to say okay 24 hours from now I'm gonna get up right now I do not want to be bothered by anybody at all Jabari I believe this is a tough day for Swiss Beast's first wife. <clears throat> I think Rashida, that's a hard Valentine's Day for her. You it's, it's, the name it's, it's, of PT, you wow. know what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> PT, I thought know PT saying. was supposed to bring the drama. <laughs> <laughs> what is you doing? How does she get into this? This is a hard one. What does she do to you, man? She's doing just fine. I was thinking of an example when he was saying that. I was like, I know an example. She didn't even think about She probably was having a good day. She's thinking about red. She's thinking about that long, red flowing dress. She just a couple days after seeing them on stage and then Valentine's Day got hit her in the out again. You think she got a better singing voice? <laughs> no, now? she. No. Oh, then Alicia Keys. No, I'm saying no. The world will voice. never know <laughs> <laughs> because that producer said I could produce elsewhere, <laughs> but not right here. I know she, <laughs> can somebody help me understand why was she even on the Super Bowl? I, I, maybe I'm missing something. Because well, she know, did I was in the hospital. She did the duet with Usher. Yeah, the my called boo. Boo. the my boo. That, right. Yeah, and that was a hot song for that. So PT, and, the, do you and there's think nothing that was wrong. A- there's nothing wrong with lip syncing, y'all. There's nothing wrong with Ooh, it. Oh yeah, well, yeah. Sometimes you just have to lip sync. Oh, you right. You right though. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, because we talked about the instruments for Dr. Dre. A lot of my friends that are musicians was like, you know, that ain't plugged in. Why they do it? I said, yeah, because they're in the middle of a stadium. Yeah. So right. lip singing, that was the thing that I asked about. And I started watching Usher being out of breath and all that stuff. No disrespect. He did real work. Yo, yeah, I was like, they did, did not did have to do that. It's funny you say that because that's the first thing my wife said yeah. was uh, she ain't even playing. I said, yeah, she playing. Yeah, when, when her when her was up there, oh, no, I was like, was I was like no, because well, I mean, I don't know, but she it looked like she was really ripping it at that moment. If she wasn't, yeah. if she wasn't, she was faking it really yeah. well. <laughs> and I was yeah. checking yeah. the keys too. I was like, okay, that looks like she's in okay. that key. And, yeah. and I don't think my wife knew that that girl really is musically talented. Right, right. right. So, but but so because of that, I assumed she was plugged in and she okay, was ripping. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I know that the voices for the vocals, a lot of times, their real vocals are there. But it is hard also, too, to mic that up in the middle of a stadium because yeah, it's right. not an acoustic, like it's not a performance venue, it's a sporting venue. Yes. So the fact that she did have to sing, I'm talking about Lisa Keys here, that she did have to sing or the fact that Usher did have to sing, it's interesting to see that. But so many people are out there now, like going, look at them, they're not even really serious. And yeah. so right. I'd imagine as an artist who can sing, you're like, no, 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 I need you to mic me up, I'm singing. And he's been doing a Las Vegas residency for the better part of what, almost a year, two years. Two now. years. Yep. Mm-hmm. So two he years. literally just took his show from Vegas and put it on and put it on a different block. Yeah, exactly. and he also said Usher said that he he was not going to leave. He he extended his uh, residency because he wanted to do the Super Bowl. He said, I love that. So. I love everything. He said he, he was he coming exactly for Jay. He, he told Jay, yes. "Jay, I'm staying." He called him. You know that I'm the only choice. The he obvious. He called choice. him. He said, You're, "It's time." And yeah. he said, "It's time." And Dude, 27 years. Yeah. You think about how long of a career he's had, yes. and yeah. he's been great. If you watch this NPR, I'm going to tell you all this. If you want to see real music, I think it's a music Tiny Palace. Desk. The Tiny whatever, Desk concert. Go watch that Tiny Desk concert. Oh, yeah. it was Him legit. and Scarface, they say top, one, top two, yeah. but ain't no three. Those guys put it so far out there that if you want to yeah. know how to perform, and be a master of your craft. They yep. put on a master class in 15 minutes. They both did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and yeah. Usher was so good that. because he brought guys with him. He brought, like, if you look at the backup singers, those are singers. They were mm-hmm. accomplished singers. They're accomplished mm-hmm. singers. Yeah. Yeah. And he mm-hmm. stood out. Like, he's up here. What, the Usher Challenge. I'm not going to do it on air because I'm going to yeah. get in trouble. Yeah. But he did Please the Usher make Challenge. Come for you again. I'm not getting in trouble no more. <laughs> he did the Usher Challenge, man. And his dudes was as good as he was. Yeah. But then when he did it, you was like, Oh, that's yeah. Really awful. <laughs> sure. You have and you have to have people that are better than you to do that because that's yep. that's what brings you know it, it's a level up for real. It pushes you, and you, yeah, mm-hmm. it pushes you for mm-hmm. real, for real. It I mean, did. I I know Luther had uh, uh, a woman named well, he had Tawatha Aji from the from M two May, and he had okay. Lisa Fisher who could I mean not necessarily better than Luther, but could blow you know just right next to Luther, just blow as hard as he did mm-hmm. in terms uh-huh. of, of of lung power and and, and sing. Man, please, she, you know you have to have that though because yeah. that elevates your show. I think we got uh, another caller. Caller, you there? 
Good morning, love. Whoa. Oh, you know who that is, don't you? I hit, do. Hit that air horn, son. <laughs> DL from RVA. Hey. What's up, sis? I am here, and this is simply Courtney. Hey, hey. And I'm calling in. And I can't call in because of you. We're going to have an issue, honey. <laughs> we, we can't be having that. I've been trying to call in this morning. It's not, it's not him. Whatever. That's on me. That's hey, on me. That's I didn't all hack, on I me. I promise you, I didn't hack it's it all today. all on me. <laughs> now, the last time, I can't speak on it, but today, yeah, yeah. yeah. He ain't hack it today. He ain't hack it today. Yeah, he's so, not he's, hacking today. so he says. <laughs> I'm about to say, I didn't call in last week when you were talking about being an usher and being big, and they used to always have you see. I remember from last week, I really wanted to call in on that one, but I'm like, no, I'm going to behave myself. I was, that was just too easy. Ursa baby. <laughs> yeah, <Wow>. man. <laughs> yes, but no, I just want to call in and give y'all some love on today. Mm. I will not say happy Valentine's Day because I do not believe in that holiday, mm -hmm. but I believe in giving love every day. Amen to that. Amen to that. We need Amen love, to too. And the yeah. thing is, this is... Just kind of like how people talk about uh, Black History Month and they say 365 Black. I like 365 Love, too. And I appreciate that. Uh, let me say this. I receive that love because so many times people be out here and you don't know who's gotten good words or uh, words of uh, admiration sprinkled over them. And you just never know when people need that stuff. And so I receive that because... Uh, a young lady earlier called and talked about the prayer, and sometimes you get an intercessory prayer, and it's stuff that you need prayed for, and you might not like it at the time. Mm -hmm. Somebody might come over and sprinkle some love on me, and I might not know I needed some love at that moment. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate that, and I receive that. Thank you. That's, that's it, because, I mean, today is the BD day, and I'm not trying to make, you know, and promote that on anybody, especially to y'all down here in Austin. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't need no more cooties. <laughs> <laughs> we got plenty of cooties. We got cooties. We got cooties here. I'm There's cooties that friend. travel and drop by Stop. and then they leave. <laughs> all right, y'all don't, don't need no more than you know them STDs and all like that. I, hey, I as soon as you said VD, I knew it. I said she was not going to go there. Well, <laughs> DL, Austin ranks in the top 50 U.S. cities for highest wow. STD rate. Why do you have these stats? It is 938. Why do you have these stats? Come on. Need wow. To, oh, oh, my geez. God. Well, while you down on 6th Street tonight. You need to stop. On, on the love Don't put that on me, Ricky Bobby. Courtney, I loved you on stage today. <laughs> exactly. I just want you to keep a little distance. Have a souvenir. <laughs> We're making love in this club. Exactly. In this club. <laughs> yeah, keep that QR code right. to yourself. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> DL, thanks That's for coming. I'm about to say, don't, don't, hey, I'm about to say, don't have nobody throwing nothing at you. They throwing something up on stage. You get the broom handle and you throw that thing right back out. They don't pick nothing up. I need to hire you to come yes. to the shows with me. <laughs> you take the broom handle and you throw it back. Do not touch. No touch. No, no touch. No, 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 no touch. No touching. No I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the politically correct. No touching the champagne room. No <laughs> touching the champagne room. Absolutely, positively, no touching the champagne room. No, I got you. I got you. Wor wise words. Thank you so much, DL. Thanks, DL. <laughs> hey, no problem. No problem. Love y'all later. Love, Love you too. too. Thanks, mom. Yeah, man. All so the background was we were we were on air talking one day about uh -huh. how high the rate the the rate mm -hmm. actually more than doubled mm -hmm. over in Houston. Mm -hmm. And so she called in and we actually have a clip of her calling in. Mm -hmm. And one of the most famous lines is she said, um, yeah, Houston over there with y'all nasty cooters. And so mm -hmm. it was just, it was a great drop. And that's we hilarious. and we still play it. I think so. you should. I think that's that's the moments you live for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's real too. Yeah. And we got too many college to, uh, uh, students and campuses here. We got like, that's, I think we're sequestered by like six different colleges technically. Yeah. Yes. yes. Within 60 miles. If that doesn't help. It explains a lot. And in Texas State, they got a thing called the Bobcat Bumps. No disrespect. That's my alma mater. Wow. Oh, but oh, oh, the Texas Bobcat State. Bumps. Oh. I'm from Texas whoa, State. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, look, when I went to school, that's the first thing they said. Watch oh, yourself. And I was like, watch myself for what? And I was like, oh, oh, this is. <laughs> and it messed me up because everybody else was talking about it. And I was like, oh, I didn't get the memo. Y'all, thank you for the late reminder, but yeah, uh, be careful, y'all. Happy Valentine's Dang, Day. I heard your the freshman wrap 15, it up. But yeah, I didn't yeah, hear about yes. the freshman VD. I hey. love this. He said VD. I knew exactly what this was going to mm, go with that. I said, uh oh. Mm, mm, Keep mm, it to yourself. Mm, PT. Yes. We, we we only have a few more, but I know you got some Ooh, more. I, yeah, it's yeah. burning up. I minutes. just I couldn't wait to tell it. Oh, so yeah. I don't know if you guys watch the Housewives of Atlanta or not. I do from time to time. Yep. Well, unfortunately, we got to pray because um, Nene won't be coming back. Yeah. Oh, but man. guess who's coming back? Who's coming back? Portia. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, hey. Yes, after she stole that. Well, I mean, allegedly stole that man's, that yeah. woman's husband. You gotta say allegedly. Uh, allegedly. I did say allegedly. allegedly. Uh, <laughs> I said allegedly. Uh, so you know, uh, I'm I'm glad that she's coming back. They they need something else. Um, the show is kind of going downhill. Um, so I really, even though Nene put her foot in her mouth, I would. <laughs> <laughs> what she did? She's good at that, though. You, you know, so, so. she. I really would. Would y'all like to see Nene come back? I really would. I yes. mean, even though she sure. put her foot in her mouth, me and Nene got history. I won't go there. To, it'll take too really? long. Really? Oh man. Really? Oh PT, I'm gonna have you on the show with me because they're gonna get rid of Dwight. And this ain't no alleged, okay? Mm. This is true. Wow. <laughs> and but you know, I'm gonna get, give. Here's my number, PT. Give me a call. I call Nene. Uh, who is this? Ooh, PT. Ooh. Oh, well, baby, follow your dreams and keep dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> Son, really? But anyway, moving on. Uh, anyway, go, go, that's go, go, go. not a legend. It's the truth. Oh, I'm but sure. anyway, moving on. Uh, so I think this would be good for the show. Again, the show has fallen off. So um, yeah. good luck to uh, Housewives of Atlanta. Exactly. Exactly. All right. It, so we're, we're almost just about to wrap up, fellas. So let's uh, uh, I'd say this too, a little something else. But yeah, go ahead. Social media, if it's okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. sure. We'll do that. Oh, okay. I was just kind of curious, PT. Uh, oh. What were your thoughts on Usher getting married? You know, I wasn't for sure if it was a if it was a rumor or a truth. Right. I, I think it's. I, I don't think he should have got married. You don't think so at no, all? No, no. They have two kids. They've been together since 2019, that, I believe. Mm -mm. Still no. Nope. You think this? I, I, I think I, if, I, it's, it, if, if it's working the way it is, just leave it the way it yeah. is. Amen I, I think something's okay. afoot. Ha, can I get an amen? amen. Just yeah. leave it the way it is. If it's working the way it is, yeah. why would you do that? Just yeah. leave. Cause baby, listen. I don't care what nobody say. <clears throat> To me, allegedly, they looking at that money. That's just me. That's PT's point of view. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. what I call it. And I just think I don't care how much they say they in love. When you when you are a celebrity, it's even harder for you because you're a celebrity and you don't know if they want you for you or your money. Right. Yeah. Oh my God, I, I don't want to be no celebrity. I give up. I don't want to be one. Because <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> you don't know if they want you for your money or if they want you for you. Yeah. yeah so, that's true. I mean, we'll find out in the future. We'll find we out. Will. But, that's, so you got to find the one that's with you when you're shooting in the gym. Or go back to the one you had before. I don't know. <laughs> I've heard that. I've heard that. If somebody gonna use you, let the let the one use you that you had before. I guess. Let the one that know you to use you. The one yeah. that knows you to use you. Yeah. I exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Simply Courtney, tell us one more time. Damn, they funny tonight. Velvet Velvet Room. Eight Velvet Room. Eight o'clock. And I want to make sure I shout out these wonderful comics that are on this show, man. Listen, we got Don Armand. We got Nikki Coleman. We have my boy uh, Trey. I gotta make sure I get his name right because I was about to put the wrong name. Like, he changed uh -oh. his name on me. Uh, Trey J. I got it. Trey J. Uh, Poppy Cannon, uh, myself, I'm the host. I keep forgetting to shout myself out as if I'm not on that show. And I got to make sure I get everybody's name. You know, Lunell's my best friend, so I'm coming to check out the show. Please come Ooh, check the show out. You I'm know coming. what? We have somebody that we tried to put on the show for free for the last one. I don't even know if they came to the show. And I feel bad. Let me make sure I can get everybody right. Nikki Cohen, Poppy Cannon, Lisa Smith, Don Armand, Trey J. Simply Courtney is your host. Yes, We're over at the Velvet Room. It's at 8 o'clock. And uh, we have not one, not two, but three shows. So we have this Wednesday, the 14th. Valentine's Day for those that celebrate. Then we have the 21st, that's next Wednesday, and then we have the 28th. Nice. So we're doing three of these things. I'm going to be real with y'all. It's all black people on the lineup. Uh, it's a different <laughs> version of black, though. It's not going to be the same. It's not a monolithic experience. It's going to be different experiences, different expressions. So when you come there, come with an open mind, come with an open mouth, and come with an open heart. We're going to laugh. We're going to do it up. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, your boy going to put it down as the host. I hope y'all understand. I do not play. When I get on that stage as a host, it is going to be turned up. We might be at 10. What's higher than 10? Uh, 11. Nothing. 12. On a scale of 1 to 10? No. Nah, that, that's where we, we max it out right there. We going higher than that, though. Uh, you you going to bust through? <laughs> Wait, so the roof is inside. The ceiling's on the outside. Or the yes, ceiling's sir. on the inside. The roof's on the outside. The roof's on the outside. Yeah. We going through the ceiling and the roof. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. Well, that's I'm going to cool. leave it at that. Cool, cool. All right, social media. Uh, Simply Courtney, but it ain't about me. It's about Simply Haha. So I want you guys to go to S Y M P L Y H A H A on either Instagram or go to simplyha.com. Uh, if you want to find me, I am Simply Courtney on Instagram. I A M S Y M P L Y C O U R T N E Y. Uh, my name is spelled just like my company's name. S Y M P L Y pays tribute to my kiddos. I take them everywhere I go, even if they aren't physically there. The reason is always why, and it's never I. It's never you. It's always why. Amen to that. PT yeah. with the T. Give me some socials. All right. Before I do that, I want to say thank you to KZI for having me on. This is the first black 
uh, station that I've, I've been given that opportunity to do my celebrity yeah. gossip. Yeah. 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 You no, know, I did. I did Kid Craddock Morning Show. I did Roller Ryan Show in Houston. So now KZI is on my resume. And I appreciate that. So you can find me on my social media. My YouTube channel is PT's Point of View, and that's all my social media is YouTube. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, or X, all of that, or whatever they call it. Yes, Everything. thank, no, you. thank so you guys for having me. You're welcome. You're the, and we got to have you back. I would love to come back. Please, yeah. come this back. is my hometown. I got to shout out to the Johnsons. I'm sorry, and the Yanceys, the Johnsons, and my brother David. Uh, you know, he has the school here in Austin. So hometown. shout out to everybody out yeah. there. You don't okay. show him some love, man. They ain't gonna let you in. Oh, house. my brother, <laughs> 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 <He's beat me laughs> <up>. <laughs> exactly. You forgot us, David. I need some money. Exactly. There you go, <laughs> Dapper D. Hey, I just want to say to everybody, Valentine's Day, look, I already explained it. I just want to go through it again. Valentine's Day is about love yep. yes. and an expression of love. Yep. If you don't have somebody, what did I tell you? Why was I in a good place when I was single? Because I was loving on myself. Amen. I was doing mm. all the time. Be happy that you got the time mm -hmm. to do only what you want to do. Yep. Yep. Because there are times when the, those of us who are booed up, yep. man, mm -hmm. I want to go to the gym and yep. get some shots up. Yep. Mm -hmm. But I got to go do this. I got to go do that. Yep. Got to take this kid to that. Got to do that. So this is your time. Have this because yes. that's what's going to keep you of sound mind and body when that time comes but don't rush it take don't your time it. it's out there for you you'll get to it mm -hmm. but you gotta you gotta take care of yourself so go work out tonight yeah that's what you need to go do <laughs> go go start shooting in the gym oh mm -hmm. <laughs> sounds good sounds good all right y'all thank you very much for joining us here on the morning grind don't forget to check out the professor he's coming up in about 12 minutes and 45 seconds later on tonight be sure to join my on-air roommate greg ricard for the jazz baby let's cool one is the name of the show and don't forget to check us out at kazifm.org full schedule and all of that and don't forget to check us out on the tune in app get the tune in app for your mobile devices your smart tv anything like that and uh, take us with you love to have you along uh we're coming up on 42 years of serving the austin area bringing up bringing that good stuff i know man i know all right y'all y'all have a good one take care this morning grind peace